this is Josh from Advanced Camping and bringing you another video tour. This one of an all new special uh, rig that we've got from Winnebago. It's a 2023 59RA Rome. And as you can kind of guess, uh, this is a wheelchair accessible class B van, fully functional class B van uh, with a fully functional um, lift for the wheelchair. There are tie downs, uh, all sorts of tie downs inside there for the wheelchair uh, and straps for if you wanted to sit in the wheelchair while driving. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty cool thing. Um, you know, it's um, got a lot of really unique features as well that you're just not going to see on any other Class B. Um, you know, there's going to be definitely some special wheelchair accessibility things like some of the cabinets. Like all the cabinets will have, um, you know, a attachments so you can get to them. Uh, one of them will even actually pivot down. So if you're in a wheelchair, you can actually access things very easily. So uh, the bathroom is such, um, you know, where it's very wheelchair accessible and also quite large. Uh, but it also has some unique things just aside from all that. The aesthetic is very cool. We're going to walk around that uh, in just a little bit to kind of show that off. And um, it's got some things that other ones don't, such as a radiant heat system on here. So there's no propane on board, which is super, super cool. It's going to use a, a gasoline system uh, as a boiler, uh, and that's going to heat the hot water and uh, give you the radiant heat for the inside of the coach. Uh, so that's a cool new thing. Um, it's very, very similar if you're at all familiar with the Winnebago Revel, where that uses diesel fuel to heat the hot water and heat the coach. This is the exact same thing, only using gasoline. So uh, very unique thing. This is also completely winter ready. Uh, meaning there's heated holding tanks uh, all throughout. So you're gonna be able to use it in the dead of winter if you so wanted to and have running water and have everything working just fine. What else is rather unique is it has a very large 3000 watt inverter. Uh, so what that gives you is the ability to run the air conditioner right off the batteries. Uh, so that's a unique plus. Um, <clears throat> limited, limited. So like if you're stopping for lunch or something, um, that's going to be a nice feature and just want to turn the air on. You'll be able to just turn the air on without uh, turning any generators on or anything like that. You just simply turn the air conditioner on. Uh, so that'll run roughly about half an hour or so, depending on the temperature it is outside. Uh, and then once you sort of leave after lunch, uh, it's going to recharge with the traditional alternator that you have in the Ram engine. Uh, so very cool feature there too. Obviously the um, electric ramp that lifts and everything is definitely gonna be unique. Uh, and there's plenty of features there too. But um, yeah, there's a lot of very unique uh, class B features in here too. And it's uh, quite the nice layout really. So looking forward to showing it to you. So yeah, I mean, it has this kind of cool aesthetic on the outside when you close the doors. Um, just looks super nice. Nice kind of chrome uh, accent there where it says the room. And uh, yeah, coming to the back here, you'll have your air conditioner up on top. And let's open up the back door here. You have a keyless entry on this one, which is a nice plus. So, Okay, we have a power sofa there with three point seat belts on both sides. But um, what I'm also showing you is it also comes standard uh, with these real heavy, heavy duty um, step ups. So that comes with the coach here. That's not something we added. Uh, so that's really cool. So that's gonna be a nice step up for anybody who needs it anywhere you want it. Uh, and those are incredibly, incredibly heavy duty. So we'll work with just about any weight limit you could think of. So that's a nice plus. Um, certainly plenty of outlets back here. Uh, gonna look very nice. And then we also have 
Of course, your water panel where you're going to be uh, filling your tank, hooking up to city water. Uh, there's a nice outside shower here, which is nice. Um, and it makes winterizing and sanitizing and anything else you might need very easy with these color coordinated valves and the instructions literally right there. So it makes it really nice, nice and simple for everybody. Okay, it does have a hitch and trailer wiring. And it has that uh, parking sense as well. So what that's going to do is like, you know, say you're backing up uh, at a, you know, at a uh, grocery store and you don't see someone pulling behind you with their grocery cart. Well, it'll stop you before you hit them. So if they're in your blind spot coming in and whether they're, you know, speeding along on a bicycle, they don't see you backing up, it's going to stop for you. So it has that sort of rear collision assist. They call that the park sense. And uh, it's got that on the front for forward collision assist, of course, for any sort of you know traffic accident, it will stop you, but also in the rear when you're going slower as well. So that's a really nice plus. Okay, coming over to this side, we're gonna have some, our, some of our utilities. Uh, we're gonna have the main exhaust, and there's also a smaller exhaust for that radiant heat system and hot water system. Remember, that's gonna be using uh, gasoline, so no propane. Uh, certainly, it's gonna be easy enough to find gasoline on the road, so then you never really have to worry about finding propane or anything like that. You are always set to go, just fill up the gas tank, and you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, your 30 amp plug-in, of course, for hooking into shore power. It does have the cassette toilet, uh, which has become very common these days. Uh, so you just take that out. It's just like a piece of carry-on luggage, really. You just sort of roll it uh, to where the toilet is, and you can just simply dump wherever there's a toilet. So you don't need a dump station proper. You know, you don't need an RV dump station. So you never want to go to an RV park again. You don't have to. Uh, that's the nice thing here. It just looks like a nice high-end van, not really giving itself away as a motorhome. Uh, even though it does everything you want it to do from a motorhome standpoint. Okay, so we're gonna have our drain for um, you know the gray and black water tanks here. And we'll have some drains for the fresh water tank. And uh, over there we'll have uh, the sewer hose storage, which is nice. Don't have to store the stinky hose inside, of course. Always a nice plus. Yeah, I love this keyless entry. That's always nice. Um, but yeah, just a really cool look to it all throughout. I really like that uh, accent that they've got around the windows. It's really just unique, very cool looking. There's a nice bright patio light as well above this main door. Uh, so loading and unloading, you'll have plenty of light here, uh, which is always a plus. So just come inside the coach here. Okay, let's take a look inside, huh? So pretty cool setup here. There's a lot of open space. So see if I can get a shot of this. Uh, I'm kind of scooching back as far as I can, but okay. So a lot of open floor space here. There are gonna be tie downs, four of them. Uh, so it's perfect for tying down, um, you know, a wheelchair, power scooter, whatever you may have. Uh, these are very, gonna be very, very heavy duty and they just quick latch right in, makes it super easy. And then there is a big um, seat belt right there that can be hooked up. So you can actually seat belt someone in if they prefer to be uh, in the wheelchair while driving or in the power scooter or whatever you may have. Um, you know, certainly there's the power sofa in the back where you can hang out and uh, the TV there, which has the cardboard over it. Um, that TV there will swivel both to the front where I'm at right now, or will swivel to the rear where the power sofa is. So nice touch there. And <clears throat> yeah, so let's kind of touch on the wheelchair lift here. There are a few different controls here. So if you're on the outside, for instance, uh, there is this nice handy, you know, completely wireless remote control, which can be used. 
or you've got this uh, nice heavy duty one here, which also controls it. They both do the same thing. So you can see there's up, down, and stow. So it's simple, you know, anybody can do it. So, okay, let's, I'm just gonna demonstrate. Now it's in the regular ramp position. So you would load someone or load the wheelchair, power scooter up right there from the ramp. And then from there, you go up. And you can see it kind of going there, lifting the ramp up. Okay, lifting up, lifting up, it's coming in, and you are good to go. So then you can roll the wheelchair right in here, or use the power scooter to come right on in, and uh, strap everything down. So very, very powerful. Um, you know, as you can see, everything looks very heavy duty. They definitely spared no expense here. Uh, so yeah, definitely a cool setup. And then at any time you can just hit stow, which is going to stow the entire system here. I'm just pushing and holding stow. And now the whole ramp system is coming in. Once you're all done. And that's it. It's really that easy. Very cool. Okay, we'll hook that back up there. And let me show you some of the other controls here as there's a lot going on in this coach. A lot of really cool features. So you have your max air vent here, which is gonna give you a ton of extra airflow when you open up the doors, the windows, the screens. You may not ever need to use that air conditioner with that max air vent. Um, that will work even with a little bit of rain with the louver system. If you get too much rain, like a big you know, rainstorm where you get driving rain or something, uh, that will close up automatically for you, but um, moves way more air than you'd think. So that's gonna be a nice one. It runs on 12 volt, uses a very uh, small amount of power. This air Excel here is gonna be uh, your thermostat for uh, the air conditioner proper. You know, you have battery tank levels, the whole deal here. Xantrax is gonna be your 3000 watt inverter. So if you turn that on, all of your household appliances will work, uh, including the air conditioner, which is a nice touch. Uh, all right, so this is gonna be your holding tank heater button. So you have uh, heated holding tanks for winter usage. This is gonna be your gasoline powered um, system for the heat and hot water and that's all radiant so it's going to be near silent when that runs uh, you can actually run that off electric when you're hooked up to um, yeah, that would be more if you wanted like a little bit of a space heater it's not going to be as efficient as the gasoline will be but it still might be nice if it's 40 degrees plus and you wanted to just take the chill out of the air and you're plugged in you can use a campgrounds electricity instead of your own gasoline for instance so here is going to be our power sofa controls pretty pretty straightforward stuff here so you could even kick back relax kind of recline anything you want to do and just goes down like so very cool nice big bed there just perfect there's going to be really handholds everywhere around here which is a, definitely a good thing. And all of these upper cabinets have straps on them uh, so that you can easily open them, even if you're in the wheelchair or something below. And then what's really cool about this particular cabinet is this is, a, this is right where the wheelchair is uh, supposed to be. So you can lift up with this and it just opens itself and then you grab this and pull down and then you've got a duffel bag where you can store, you know, kind of your easy access things that you need. Uh, anything you might need, you can store right in here and then you can just sort of grab the duffel bag and you've got ready storage right there that you can access even if you are in the wheelchair. So very, very well thought out design in my opinion. Whole thing has a very 
well thought out design. And let's take a look at the bathroom, which I think is really, really smart. It's on this magnetic latch here. And uh, certainly, you know, opens up here. And let me show plenty of handholds here, uh, plenty of safety rails, and uh, really a nice big shower area, a nice bathroom area. Um, in comparison to other class B's, there's a lot of room in there. Uh, even a bigger guy like me, lots of room. Um, so it can also, you can see they put a, a shower or a curtain rod in here in case you did want to use it as clothing storage if you're just not planning on using the bathroom at all. Obviously that removes very easily if you did want to use it as a bathroom or shower. So yeah, very, very cool. Lots of handholds and yeah, just a great way to do it. And then just latches and magnets right back into place. Super cool. And we have this uh, sort of nice glossy countertop here. Uh, really looks nice, really looks modern. Stainless steel sink. You know, we have a nice uh, compressor based refrigerator down here. Uh, not going to take up too much of your power either. Uh, nice storage. And this is all very easily accessible uh, for someone who's in the wheelchair. As you know, you're right down here. Uh, the fridge is easy to access. All the storage is easy to access. Even the kitchen countertop uh, is pretty low. I'm kind of on my knees right now and I, you know, have no problem touching that. So quite nice. Looks like there's a little bit of extra storage or extra little counter space here or cutting board whatever you need there is as well a uh, huge storage uh deck here so when that lifts up uh then there's also a leaf that can be pulled out in either direction so yeah very very nice uh very stable table as well so yeah nice to have that as well Again, they really put their thinking camps on here, and uh, it's a really, really smart design. So, Okay, and then you have another little duffel here that's uh, easy to access. So if you have other goodies in here that sort of essentials, uh, maybe even some snacks in here, or you just need to grab it real easy, uh, you can do that. And you will get some storage up above here. You know, you're going to have... Um, these are going to be the covers for the front three windows here. There's a mat as well for up in front. We put that in there for you. Uh, nice uh, LED light strip here just to give yourself some extra room in crossing from the back to the front here to the front seats. And here we have our yeah 2022 uh, Ram and um, it's not all you know alterated at all uh but we are told from winnebago it can uh get you know the paddle uh controls to you know make it uh drive without needing the foot pedals for i think they said somewhere around 700 to a thousand dollars so that can be added in uh after the fact if so desired uh so if you wanted hand controls for driving that can be done for you. Uh, we have the nice big touch screen here. Um, as you can see, those L uh, or red LED lights down there, that's all for the lift, uh, for that um, yeah, big lift back there uh, to kind of tell you all the things you need to do. So if it's not working, like for instance, you need to have it in park, <laughs> naturally it wants you to have it in park. You need to have the parking brake on as well. So, you know, it's just going to remind you if uh, you're trying to use that uh, the power lift for the wheelchair and it's not working, you know, you check right there and it's going to give you an indication as to what you need to do or why it's not working. So, <clears throat> but yeah, you will have blind spot assist on both of the heated mirrors, heated power mirrors. Uh, I love this rear view mirror on the Rams. It's you just have zero blind spots as you know, that's going to be a rear view camera that's on at all times. And it's a nice wide angle view. It's very hard to, <laughs> once you get used to that, it's very hard to go back. That's for sure. So, um, yeah, just a fantastic chassis here. Um, you have a wireless charging right there as well. So 
yeah, Apple and Android CarPlay, just about everything you can think of on a new chassis. So this is our 2023 Rome. I hope you like it. Again, my name is Josh. If you have any questions on this, please uh, reach out to me at 414-281-6330. And do, uh, do check out our website for current stock availability and pricing. And that's going to be advancedcamping.com. And of course, if you like this video and want to see more, please do feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.